Hi, I'm James D'Souza, a psychology teacher. And I'm Willem Vanderhorst, a brand strategist. Every week, we go on wild tangents to answer one of life's big questions. And we have a theme for you for our next season. Yeah, absolutely. So the theme for the season, which is going to be for the next 10 episodes, uh, we've defined that each season is going to be 10 episodes worth of conversations in the similar fashion that we've done so far. And the seasonal theme is career. Mm. as an overarching theme and I, I wrote I prepared a few thoughts about career uh, so as we've explained in the last episode we reorganized a bit of the structure of teaching tangents and we're giving overarching themes and because it tends to matter to the students and young people that we've provided the questions that we've discussed so far we decided that the topic of career would be a good segue from the two previous seasons to this new format and we do have a couple of questions that we've answered in previous episodes related to career. So feel free to go check them out. Uh, but I will, uh, how it's going to go is even though in each episode, James is going to prepare the question that I don't know in advance, I'll generally set the tone. I mean, we do it together, but I'll set the tone and I wrote something for the seasonal arc. And we're going to share some uh, media references so that you all know in advance and you can go and read the articles, watch the videos, listen to the podcast episodes so that you know uh, what we're going to be talking about or what are some of the shared references that we have and will be talking about. And you're going to link to them in the description below, right? And I'll link to them in the descriptions. We're going to describe a little bit what they are. But right now, uh, otherwise, the rest of it is still going to be the same. Like you prepare the question, which mm -hmm. uh, comes from our listeners and the people watching us. But I don't know in advance what the question is, but I do know what the overarching theme is, typically. So in this case, career, obviously. Uh, so as you guys know, if you watched or listened to our episodes before, we like to go back to the basics and a dictionary definition. So the Cambridge yep. Dictionary defines the word career, and Merriam-Webster defines it pretty much the same way I checked, defines the word career as the job or series of jobs that you do or that one does during your working life especially mm -hmm. if you continue to get better jobs and earn more money over the course of it. And the, that string constitutes your career, generally, like traditionally thinking. Mm -hmm. um, and so I thought that I would tell you a little bit about mine. And, and James, you can tell us a little bit about yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we, one way or another, and I think the, the definition has been expanding, which is going to be the perhaps the opportunity for a few questions. We think about our work one way or another. It tends to be, of course, the large portion of time that we spend dedicated to doing stuff in exchange for money to live. So working, mm -hmm. basically. Uh, and or there might be some other things that we're looking for these days, which is some measure of satisfaction, of fulfillment, of activities that might not earn us money, but that we're looking for something else in terms of, uh, you know, looking for to live a good life, live a fulfilled life, however you want to put it. Um, so we like to mix theory and practice. And so just to begin with, let's talk about our career. So, uh, yeah. And the whole idea is ingrained pretty early on. I mean, I remember preschool, kindergarten, doing stuff about what do you want to do when you grew up? And when yeah. I was in preschool, uh, kindergarten school, I remember that I drew and I noted down that I wanted to be a bus driver or a helicopter pilot. And then a few years later, as a child, I wanted to be a gymnast. So I'm none of those things now. As a teenager, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Hmm. Uh, and there was more talk about that in high school, because then you're starting to have conversations about what is it that you're studying to go in a certain direction of a job. And, you know, if you want to be a lawyer or a doctor, you should start knowing now whether you should study, whether you want to study medicine or law. Those are kind of easy, quote unquote, examples, mm -hmm. because they tend to have long um periods of studying and mm -hmm. preparation to be able to perform that kind of work and, and career. I had a bunch of different jobs at that point. Uh, summer jobs when I was in high school, I helped mm -hmm. pack a CD in a warehouse. I uh, worked in a small design agency. I uh, did a summer internship in a coaching company. I uh, worked as a bartender. I scooped ice cream and it was TGI Fridays. I did a lot of different stuff. And then I studied uh, university. I studied cinema, but really because I had no idea what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to study literature and go to a prestigious literary school, but I didn't really have the grades for that. I, you know, I, I thought about what I wanted to do after the few years of not studying all that hard. And when I was there, I was like, well, wait, oh, I should have thought about that before. I, I didn't. Anyway, I worked in a bookstore. 
I worked as a graphic, I was trained in graphic design. Uh, so I dropped off from cinema studying. I, start, I worked in a bar, which I thought was a lot more interesting. And then I worked in a bookstore. And then I was like, wait, wait a minute. There's have the, I'm working with colleagues who have been in their career just above minimum wage for many years. And I feel like I've already understood what was going on here in three months that I worked there. Mm -hmm. I should probably go back to think about this career thing. And I went to study and I did a work study program in graphic design. And that felt like really the proper beginning of my career. And then I worked in coaching and then for the past 14 years in brand strategy. Uh, so and that was how that was just mine, to say, yeah. how old how old were you when you did the graphic design thing? The work I was uh, 20. OK, yeah, I was 20. So I graduated from high school when I was 17. And for two and a half, three years, I was in university and doing part time jobs. And I went right. I spent a summer in the States because I thought I wanted to move to the States. I did odd jobs in New York and then I decided mm -hmm. I was homesick, came back. I tried a bunch of different stuff and I glossed over. I also had a few different careers before I became a brand strategist or jobs at the very least. Uh, but that that I won't get into because otherwise I'm going to talk for three hours. <laughs> As Willem's talking, I'm smiling and laughing because you've done so much. And my my career. I also worked in a bunch of different places. I I, I mean, I said that in the intro episode. Oh, different. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I, I was born in, in world, New York. Right? I lived in Paris. Yeah. I worked yeah, yeah. in London for many years. I worked and traveled as a digital nomad way before that was a thing for most people. So I did that 10 years ago. Uh, working in a remote island in Malaysia and Laos and a bunch of other places. I worked in Singapore, I worked in Chicago, and uh, and now back in Paris, London, anyway, uh, with a lot of different, a wide variety of different large businesses, as well as startups, as well as small to medium companies. So I've worked and for we'll a bunch of names that. that, you know, we'll get into that, yeah. I'm sure we'll get into that in the course of this season in each episode, but I'm laughing so much because my career path is absolutely the polar opposite, I think. So I went to school. I don't remember what I wanted to do. I did really well at school. I mostly did everything my parents told me. I went to a good seat, a secondary school. I went to a pretty good university. I studied business and psychology. I spent a year out working in marketing as part of my degree and then did some little jobs building databases and then got a job working for a marketing and media agency in data planning we start when we started the data planning department had four people when i left about three and a half years later there was 24 so this was just when media was becoming like super trackable and you could measure everything but what you do is we would advise clients where they should advertise to get more sales and i felt as i turned 24 25 i was getting part of an industry where i was getting people to spend money they didn't really have on stuff they didn't really want and I wanted to do something more fulfilling so I retrained changed careers to become a teacher and I've been teaching I'm about to move into my 18th year as a teacher teaching business and psychology which is funny and that's what you is exactly what you studied at university that is exactly what I studied at university I didn't expect to become a teacher but for me doing everything I was told was a big driver in my life and when I was working in data planning for a media planning agency my parents had no clue uh, couldn't understand what I was doing but now I'm a teacher they totally get it and they talk to their friends and the people they know about oh yeah my son's a teacher they, they really get have got their head around about around what I do and now I've been doing it for 18 years I realize I have a lot to contribute to other teachers and I'm only really becoming interested in that world now and that's what I thing i would like to go is to do something where i'm contributing to other people and that's really why teaching tangents is in existence i think great so last but not least we uh said we we're going to share some common media references the idea mm. of which is we encourage you to go read watch and we've picked we were going to pick three but we couldn't help ourselves pick four the, but most of them are short one is long yes so uh and we will add the links in our social media and in the show notes the yep. first one is a blog post, which is quite long, uh, in the Wait But Why blog by Tim Urban, which is one of my favorite ever blogs. <laughs> and the blog post called How to Pick a Career That Actually Fits You, which is bang on topic. 
Mm -hmm. um, a video, which is a recording from a lecture from Alan Watts, the known philosopher and just, you know, Eastern thinker and teacher as well. He was a teacher. So this was uh, his lecture about talking about his students and what if money was not object, which will link to, there's a bunch of different versions, but we'll link to the video that we have in mind in particular. Uh, then there's a two minute segment from a history professor, uh, and writer and quite you know famous thinker these days, uh, mm. Yuval Noah Harari, the author of Sapiens and Homo Deus and 21 Lessons from the 21st Century that we quote quite a lot. And this mm. is a two and a half minute segment about careers uh, and about jobs of the future. Uh, and last, uh, the a short four minute documentary from mm. a few years ago, which funny enough is sort of a, an ad made for Etsy.com. Uh, about one of the last remaining sword makers in Japan. And this is more about like the idea of honing a skill during a lifetime. Uh, we also talked about Geo Dreams of Shushi, the documentary, which we do highly recommend, but it's longer and uh, we don't know whether you have it available on streaming or not. So, but we know that these ones are available wherever you might be. Two of them are, three of them are on YouTube and one of them is a blog post that's fully available. And we encourage yeah. you to have a look at those, but explore yourselves. Go off on other tangents and see what you can discover. And we're always looking for questions for our episodes. So in this, yes. this season's theme is going to be career. If you've got any questions at all about career, whether they're huge questions, deep philosophical questions, or super tiny, ridiculously practical questions, get in touch. You can email me. Because if you email Willem, he'll know the question. So email me. Yeah, don't email me. Don't email Willem. Email me at hello at jamesdesouza.com, J-A-M-E-S-D-S-O-U-Z-A.com. And hopefully we can stump Willem, although he's always got something to say. So that's it. So that's our seasonal theme. I had said last but not least, but actually the last but not least is really calling for your questions. Uh, yeah. And we'll see you around for the upcoming episode and the next 10 episode of our seasonal theme are all going to be about career please send us our questions and we'll talk to you soon bring coffee